Frank Stick, nationally known artist, illustrator, developer, conservationist, and amateur ichthyologist, moved to the Outer Banks in 1929, mostly for the surf fishing. He saw a lot of new development activity happening in his backyard, and most of it, in his opinion, seemed to lack good planning. Lots were small, and developers rarely left land set aside for open space and parks. Frank Stick thought, I can do better than this than they can. He wanted to build an oceanfront model community that retained the best of what nature had to offer. In 1947, he formed a partnership and bought the land for just $30,000, now valued at over $430 million. 2,600 acres extending north four miles from the Wright Memorial Causeway and from the ocean to Gingai Creek and Currituck Sound. He called it Southern Shores. Of course, the location of Southern Shores isn't exactly Southern, but Northern Shores just doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. Frank wrote to his son David and asked for a better name. David didn't like the term Southern Shores either. He promised to get back to his dad with a better idea. He never did. Neither did anyone else. So the name stuck. Frank's first attempt to develop Southern Shores largely failed. He drew up plans for one mile of road extending north from State Highway 158 and running parallel to the ocean, fittingly named Ocean Boulevard. There were eight blocks on each side of Ocean Boulevard. Land was parceled into 50-foot lots that had to be purchased in pairs for $2,000. Frank seemed to think that people would rather buy two 50-foot lots than one 100-foot lot this was one of a number of things Frank and David tended to disagree on. Sales were slow. Most people traveling to the Outer Banks wanted to head south after crossing the bridge, where the area was much more developed. It was hard to sell the concept of a new oceanfront home to people when they had no idea how much that home would cost, or if they could get it built at all. Enter attempt number two. This time, Southern Shores homes came as a package deal. You purchase the land, the site preparation, the driveway, and an adorable flat top beach cottage. Frank Stick assembled a dream team of local carpenters, masons, and painters ready to build upon purchase. The flat top cottages were Frank Stick's own design. They were low profile and meant to fit in with the dune landscape instead of dominating it. He used local materials whenever possible. The 42 pound concrete blocks were made from sand right off the beach with little bits of shell trapped inside them. Local juniper wood was used for the paneling and partitions. They were cost effective, easy to add on to if the owner wanted to put in another bedroom or garage later, and the design was uniquely Outer Banks. Attempt number two was a success, and Southern Shores grew by leaps and bounds. Ocean Boulevard was extended further north, Skyline Road was added, and even without the benefit of a road, houses began to spring up on either side. With the community prospering and a new road opened all the way to Duck, Frank Stick stepped away from the project in 1954 and went back to painting.